Let's talk about uh, Nick Saban, man. Nick Saban out here uh, crying about NIL deals, which me, I look at it like this. I do think there's some valid points that Saban has made um, about NIL. I don't think it's a perfect situation, obviously. Uh, but this, he's trying to frame it like it's about the kids, and I call bullshit. What it's about is Nick Saban and, and even Dion said a little, even though I'm rocking the Colorado hoodie, you know, I'm team prime all day. Dion kind of said the same thing where, you know, about these, the power going really to the players. And, you know, basically these, uh, or these, these programs got to pitch more than just a program to get some of these top name recruits. And to me, it just sounded kind of sounded like Nick Saban was bitching about, you know, not being able to have business per as usual. You know what I'm saying? And that to me is just something where it's like the old days are past, bro. We can sit up here and talk about ways that NIL needs to be fixed and it does need to be fixed. But let's just cut the bullshit and say well, what you really uh, want. You know, you know, you just sit down somewhere. Yeah, shout out Jay Sanders in the chat. He says Saban got rich off those kids. He needs to. Yeah, exactly. Like sit your old ass down. Like it's, it's a changing of the guard here and it has nothing to do about the future of these kids. It's about why I brought them their home. We cook food for them. And ooh, ooh, that don't mean nothing. These kids want to get paid, man. And rightfully so. So that's what I take from this. Not too, too much. I see some points. I think it's slightly a right message, but wrong messenger. Um, Mikey, what do you feel about, you know, what's been going on with Saban and what, what he's been saying? Uh, it's exactly like you said. I mean, these coaches are being priced out. They can't, you know, you can't go and sit, in a kid's living room anymore and, and try and teach them on the Alabama way. It's about that bag. And I think we're seeing it all across college sports, even if you go to the basketball side. I mean, they done got Coach K up out of there. Roy left. Calhoun left. Bayheim left. Like, all of these coaches, you know, Bayheim was one of the first ones to really say, like, I don't think I could compete with this transfer portal in the NIL. So, um, it is what it is. Like, you know, tough break. What you gonna do? Like, you were paying all this time you know, under the table. Now you can openly pay and, and you can't. So um, I just think he's crying. It's just the old guard versus the new guard. I do think there needs to be some way of regulating, you know, the transfer portal and how much money um, certain schools get because, you know, you have certain schools that are at a disadvantage. You got schools with a $165 million pot of NIL money and you got a school with no money, you know. So it's just going to really be the death of college sports across – the nation, you know, because certain schools not going to be able to keep up. We're seeing it with the NCAA. I mean, you know, there's talk about Florida State joining the Big Ten in a couple years. Like, they're up for big, up for grabs. Like, eventually we'll see Notre Dame join the conference, you know. So it's all about the bread. It's all about the bread. But I just think Nick Saban couldn't really, you know, I don't think he couldn't coach. We know that he could still coach, but he just didn't want to go through it. Now it's, it's, it's more than just recruiting. It's, well, how much money, you know, that's the, that's the talk right from when you walk into a kid's living room. So, oh, well, tough break. Uh, Mike, man, uh, what, what's your take on everything we've been hearing about uh, Saban and, you know, how he's been going around? I, I agree with y'all completely. Also, you know, now that the player is going to be making more than him, that's also a thing. But one thing I would say is um, give Reggie Bush, get, give Reggie Bush back his eyes on. Because <laughs> all this NIL shit, I'm like, well, you can get Reggie Bush back as Heisman if, that, if that's the case. But, yeah, like, it, it just – times change, bro. Like, it's, it's, he can't compete with it no more. Now it's more so of a fair playing field. You know, so now you're not just getting all the best players in the, in, in the United States. A lot of other people are getting it. So, you know, now he got to compete a little bit harder. He got to recruit a little bit harder. And he's just not used to that. He's getting up there in age. And like you said, all the other guys – Hey, they got out of there. This is just a new era of recruiting. And if you can't get with it, you just got to get lost, you know. And and obviously that's – he didn't probably want to go out that way because that's what it seemed like. Okay, like I'm getting kicked out because the NIL is what really getting me out of there. But really it's just it's just time for you to go. You can't get with it. You can't, you can't coach forever, you know what I'm saying? So he did what he did. Still an amazing coach. You know, just his recruiting tactics were amazing. He always had at least a top five – you know, recruiting class, so you can't you can't hate on that, but it's just it's just time to move on. Uh Bang, quickly give your opinion and we're gonna bring Dan in. What you think about saving? Man, he's just an old coach that wants that old thing back, simply <laughs> put. You know what I'm saying? Now in it is NIL perfect, nah, and they probably do need some sort of regulation. But it ain't going nowhere and you gotta adjust the dip and that's what he did. Look. Doing the Cupid Suffer with black families and lying about how your son going to get in the NFL ain't going to work no more. <laughs> that's 
this is it. <laughs> Stars might get the shine and they might get the bread, but NIL to me is about the other players who might not be able to get to the NFL and stuff, but they can still get paid and take care of your families, man. You, everybody ain't going to the NFL. So when you're looking at, you know, the person who came in as a a a a top 15 recruit and stuff, it's a lot of those folks that come in and you think they're going to be raw and go to the NFL, but they don't do nothing, you know, but they can still profit off their likeness. That's cool. Mm -hmm. But, you know, hey, you, you can't go and say, yo, where's the spades at? Miss Mabel, let me tell you about your son and why your son is going to play for me. At the Crimson Tide and be a star. Like that ain't gonna happen no more. That paper on this player haters old news. Money on the other line, so I'm not gonna hold you. Money on the other line, so I'm not gonna